Hello, monsters around here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empire supporter campaign for those glorious YouTube and, of course, Patreon supporters. Part 2 of my Malekith campaign, where last time we... we what did we do? I forgot. It's, oh, we, we killed some rats, didn't we? That's right. We, we killed some rats. That's good. Right, okay, so now we're trying to concentrate on dealing with either Grumbrindle, who we kicked the shit out of last time, or Valkyr, who's probably going to sh kick the shit out of this this time. So we need defences in potentially Nagarond. We could rush this. But do I have the slaves? We could rush it if we needed it, couldn't we? And to be honest, I think Nagarond is pretty beefy anyway, so I think we'd probably be okay, maybe? So the poll was pretty decisive. It did say, let's kill Grom Brindle first. So the poll is legally binding. I have lawyers on that. And so we're going, we're going to, we're going to try to deal with Grom Brindle, um, potentially making me some more money along the way. Good stuff. You don't start off with many ports as, uh, as Malekith, do you? Which means you don't have much slave income, which means you really need to get out there and uh, get them slaves, but you don't have enough money to do that. So it's really, a, it's, a, it's a, bit of a bit of a bitch start. I would prefer if maybe there was a special building, like a special port in Nagarond, which maybe gave you more slave, because like Lockheed's start is actually pretty pretty easy because he starts off with like a quite a few ports available. There's not actually many ports here. There's quite a few ports over here, so I might have to like, you know, con conquer all this bullshit and then come down. Assuming that I don't have to then traipse across the fucking chaos wastes, killing everything in my path. Because, you know, that is something that tends to happen. I mean, at least people aren't sad because of the amount of slaves. They might be sad because there's not enough slaves, but, you know, that's that's their problem. I do not want to. Okay, so let's just end the turn. So we need to rush defences if we need them. But with any luck, Valkyr will hold off because I think she's killing the other Dark Elf faction. Which is not like, oh, don't declare war on me. Oh, you want my great pad. Um... Um, what with what Caron Car? But I'm going to be honest, they're probably going to die. You know what? You know what, Solostra? Sure. I've, you know what? At this moment in time, I've got more than enough people trying to kill me. I don't need any more. Someone who's actively not trying to kill me, who has promised that they won't lay a finger on my charred body, is actually quite refreshing. Possession of the circlet of iron mm -hmm. is key in gaining control of the vortex, your majesty. Right. But I'm not trying but it must to go, go on, fucking back in your box, you old bastard. Right, we've got enemy forces. Not many, but reinforcements are expected. <sighs> we could do that now. That would give us a circle of iron, which is fine. It's pretty much all I can say about it at this point in time. It is fine. Okay, Grond is dead. That's not great. That's a little bit quicker than I would have liked. So we're going to... I'm not going to do that quest battle just this second because I've got I've got other things to do, haven't I? Um, so we're going to meander you this way. The, the, the longer we can leave this, the better. Also, I need to kill these fucking beast men because otherwise they will try and kill me guarantee it. What do we have here? Anything good. Casualties capture post-battle. Dark Conduit is actually pretty fucking legit and could be really fucking useful. How long is that for? 15 turns. It's 800 slaves though. That is a lot of slaves. I'm going to be honest, if I run out of slaves, I will fuck my economy. We need to get down here. We need to kill Grombrindle ASAP. Sure. Clarkerons, you want me to join your war against those guys? No. No, I was just at war with them, and to be honest, they should be almost dead. It shouldn't be difficult to finish them off. Of course, you've just run away, because you know I'm coming for you. Where the fuck did you go? I mean, to be honest, I don't really... Oh, you're down there. Um... <sighs> that is how they didn't run away until I had an army nearby. Just go fuck off and raid someone else, you shits! 
Go and go and fucking annoy someone else. Don't just sit there annoying me. Go and do someone else. Don't just fucking. Oh, I, I can't sit around and wait for them. I need to. Just, I need to go for this. Um, would we be able to reach this next turn? I don't know. So I think I'm just gonna push for oh, crap. How have you got another fucking stack this quickly? I can't afford. I've got. I've got twice the number of settlements than you do. And I've only got one army. Do you take me for a yes, I do. Take you for a dirty cheater. Okay, Valkyrie, if you can just not... If you could just not... That would be great. I've one of Lord Arthur has been captured along with his honor guard. Naturally, they are being paraded around the province in chains for their inevitable and exquisitely slow public executions. Local inhabitants are ecstatic at this delicious turn of events, resulting in local improvements to control and army leadership. Oh, well, good. My cruelty knows no okay, now I'm going to have to take you on, along with the garrison here, which is, I mean, not very good, but still. <sighs> oh, and another army. And another army. Okay, well, at least at least their army's not great. One, two, three, four, five, six quarrelers. Oh, and two giants. Two uh, well, troll slayers, which is could be worse, I guess. It could be worse. Not by much, but it could be. Okay, well, good luck everyone. Um unless Unless we do Dark Conjurer. Okay, that might even the odds somewhat. Dwarfs are thousands of them. Thousands. Oh, hang on, hang on, I can do this. Thousands of them. Did it. Okay, so yes, there are two and a half thousand dwarves against um, 1.8 thousand dark elves. I'm not corner camping because this rock is not the corner. So. Fuck you. Anyway, so with the, the, the chariots have been running around. They've expended most of their ammunition and managed to get eight kills. Great. I mean, I do not understand missile chariots. I really don't. I, I cannot wrap my brain around what they're for, who they're supposed to. I would, you know what? Get rid of all this bullshit, right? Give more stats. Like these guys in the back with crossbows, right? No, not crossbow. Give them like a sharp pointy stick. It would be better. Also, what are you, are you using that as a back scratcher, mate? Hang on. What the fuck are you doing? What is this? Is that good? What? Just... The fuck? I don't know. Fucking goddamn chariots. I don't know. Anyway. So. Using Malekith to uh, Serpentine. Hopefully drawing off some of that fire. And we're trying to... Now, the, the main danger here is going to be the Quarrelers and the Slayers. So, overall... Overall, Dwarf Warriors ain't going to do shit against us, right? Like, I mean, their, their melee defense is good. Their melee attack is, melee attack is trash. Their weapon strength is, 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 you know, average. Which means against the, the basic lineup we have here, they're going to do fine. We're mostly going to trade, right? So, that's fine. That's not an issue. The issue is the quarrelers. We need to kill them. The slayers, who will fuck us up. So we need to kill off these nasty missile units. We're using Anzapul's Brack Horror and also the Chili thing, whatever that one is. Uh, that's doing some damage. It did. It did some damage. I mean, we can we can we can confirm that some damage was indeed done. The Coldborn Chariots are currently heading straight towards the enemy. Quarrelers and beep beep motherfuckers. Yep, they did um, adequately. I think it's fair to say. Sure, adequately. A little burning head there. So yeah, these guys have done. But again, they did. They did more kills in less time by charging a single unit than they did by expending most of their ammunition. So why do we shoot people? What is the point? I mean, their best use is as a suicide bomb, except without the suicide part. 
Lovely. Well, that did a number on the enemy quarrelers. Killed about three units of them, I think. And a unit of miners, so I'm, I think that's pretty good. It will exhaust them, but I don't care. I mean, to be honest, I don't really care what happens to those fuckers. The Slayers are, as I expected, doing a right number on us, but fortunately they are being brought down by the crossbows who are firing wildly into melee combat, hopefully hitting more dwarves than Dark Elves. It goes the Burning Head, a little bit risky to cast it so close to my line. Had it veered off into my infantry, it would have, well, done a shit ton of damage, but fortunately it does not, although it also doesn't manage to veer off into these dwarves. So, um, you know, I'll give that a, a 50 out of 100. It's a good score. We're now using our Dark Shards to target the enemy quarrelers, trying to bring them down. As I say, they're the ones doing the main damage. Look at that. 52, 52 kills. Look at that. Oof. Here come the chariots again, continuing to try and do some damage. Um, spoilers. The Slayers will catch them, and they will die. Nothing of value will be lost. Malekith is trying to take out the enemy general. In fact, the enemy general is now running away, which is great. And there is a big dwarf blob on my left flank. However... A lot of the Dwarf Center has actually broken and is on the run. Could be worse. The Black Guard currently tries chasing down the enemy Lord if we can kill him. With any luck, that will cause a morale panic. Dark Shards now firing wildly into the back of Dwarves who are fleeing. And goes another Burning Head, which, I mean, Dwarves are magic resistant, but it will still do some damage. A little bit of fire and ice there. Also, the Dwarves being this close to the map edge, some of them are just running right off the map edge there and uh, won't rally, which is good for us. Because, of course, uh, being a settlement battle, every well, apart from the reinforcements, the, the army in the settlement and the garrison will all be dead because we'll take the city. So uh, if they run off, that's it. They're fucking dead. As long, you know, as long as we win the battle, of course. A few quarrelers still left over, but I think we should be able to deal with that now that we've whittled down most of the dwarves. A few slayers coming in. Sharp are getting just cut down by crossbow fire. Um, however, I do want to ask the question. These dwarves... Like, slayers there, right? What am I... What, what are you shooting at? Are you still shooting at the slayers? They're dwarves. They're not that fast. All right. If you were shooting at like a supersonic bomber or something, yes, I could completely understand how you could miss. They're fucking short, hairy people wearing no clothes. They should not be hard to lead on. So, anyway, the point is that fuck those dark shards for that miss. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking, but um, that's fine. Coral is going under down under a hail of crossbow fire there, and Malakis is getting stuck right in. Looking pretty good. We're also going to... Did we use a Dark Conduit? I think we used... Oh, no, there's, dark, there's a Dark Conduit right there, right in the center, which blows a massive hole in the Dwarf line. And then finally, the rest of the Dwarves flee from the battlefield. Huh. Could have been worse. A tough fight, but a victorious one. Okay, we're going to loot and occupy. And we did lose the chariots, but... Meh? Okay, we need to take Dracul Spire ASAP, knock them out of the fight. And then we can concentrate on Valkyr. Oh, good, you've got a chariot. I don't know if that's worth... I don't know if the chariot is worth anything to you, Malekith. That's the thing. I'm like, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Absolute power. It does give you hold the line. Sadistic. Oh, I'm kind of tempted to give you more spells. What does this do? Income from all buildings faction wide. That's quite good. Income from slaves faction wide. Pretty good. Got control. Corruption. Dark elves. So that's kind of like local province stuff. Upkeep reduction, all armies. That's probably better. Income from looting settlements, sacking settlements, casualties. I mean, that's instantly awesome. That's pretty good. And um, that's also, I'm going to be honest, I'm thinking war leader seems like the best option. That's what we're going to go with. Right, what about these guys? Um... I'm going to be honest, there's nothing I can recruit right now that... I mean, I guess this is good, but it's not really that useful right this second. Uh, 
So I'm kind of tempted to go with something like this. We get Power of Darkness, then that's more spells. Then we can do something like Flamestorm, because that is a Vortex that I actually do quite like. Okay, big money prizes. And Slaves is looking better than ever. I think, I think that was worth it. We did kind of, we did kind of blow our wads on that ritual, but I think that worked out for the best. Place return, head straight down to Drackle Spire. Can we reach that in one? I believe we can. Take that, no more dwarf problem. We, look, Grom Brindle was bound to come for us eventually. We just nipped that in the bud, and now if Valkyria can just keep her cool... Do, why don't you go and pick on Hellebron? She probably hates you. Probably hate each other. Just leave me alone for a second. I just got, I got stuff. Stuff to do. And also there's fucking beastmen hanging around here somewhere. Are they still there? Yep, they're still there. Malekith is a disciplinarian. Recruit an additional lord. I will get right on that. Okay, let's just bop you. You're shitting me. You are absolutely shitting me. What do we want? Slave to use by buildings. Sounds pretty good. Okay, we'll grab that, because that will allow us to recruit Sisters of Slaughter, who are fucking great. Could get another Sorceress, potentially. That is an option. Uh, Scourge Runner Chariots and Harpies, kind of meh. Oh, we wanted defences, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm gonna be honest, income from all buildings seems like the best option right now. We're just gonna just gonna splurge. We'll recruit some more boys, because we need it. I cannot believe I'm just out of fucking range. I was sure I could reach that. How very aggravating. We've got Brindles now there. With some giant slayers. You know what? I don't even fucking care. Let's get wrecked. Okay, don't need you. I can just replace them. Okay, those guys are dead. Those guys are dead. Yes. Oh. It's all coming together. Now you. Yes. Right, so I have a non-aggression pack with you, so I don't have to worry about you for the moment. Hello, elves. Are you kind of chill with me? Oh. No. No. They... They are not chill. Oh, malicious. They are cranky. They could go with it. Mm, absolute power. That does give hold the line. Money, defense, leadership. Pretty good. Wait, do I even need Blade Wind? Because to be honest, I've got the Fire Vortex, which is better, right? Well, let's melee attack and accuracy. Mm, Spiteful Conjuration is going to give us less armor. I guess that's kind of fine. I'll tell you what, I'll get a Sea Dragon Clank because that'll start sort of heading in the right direction, I think. Uh, we're going to get Firestorm because I genuinely like that spell. I don't, I'm not even sure if I want Rakdu Gorge. It's just kind of there, but... Rain secure. God, you are so, so not fine, but that's only next turn. And if you do rebel, Malakith is going to be heading up that way anyway, so if you do rebel, I can just kick the shit out of you and uh, take your stuff. Works for me. Right, okay, so we've now got, for some reason, Solostra up here. I'm not overly concerned about that at this moment in time. What about Make you? Make it fast and know that I always get what I want. Oh, you actually 
quite like me for some reason. Oh, um, right. Well, that's not. Lord of the wild things. Gotta be honest. I'll level with you. I didn't have that on my bingo cards. Baying for blood. But good, I guess. Hello, Solostra. You want a trade agreement? Problem is, are you? Oh, we, you're okay with those guys. Um, you know what? Go on. I guess. I guess killing the dwarves, Valkyrie. I'm like, oh, look, I hate short, hairy people as well. And good job. I mean, mind you, they're dead now, so she'll probably start getting slightly more shitty that I'm, I'm not punching short, hairy people in the face. Which means she'll then, you know probably try and punch me in the face. Those fuckers still down there. Yes. Those is to the grindstone. Research rates. Okay. Malekith, King of okay, we'll meander up here to try and stave off a rebellion for the moment. is a stupid amount of slaves to be using pattern. Beastmaster. I need to kill someone. It needs to be soon. Who am I going to kill? I mean, I could kill the ogres. But that means going into mountains, which I don't really want to. Uh, there's Chaos Waste up here, which we do kind of like, apparently. So we could do that. I'd Grumpy cats. Untamable. Yes. The untamable cats, I assume. It's like herding kittens, isn't it? Eh? A eh? battler's business income from raiding and post battle loot is pretty good. Speed, uh, leadership, don't care about that. I'll keep reduction of black art course says meh. I mean, I okay, we'll do this because then we'll get battler's business. I could get the, the public order, but to be honest, I don't think I need that at the moment, really. I'm kind of okay with that. Fangs and talents. Yes, yes, indeed. I mean, we've got, okay, we've got two. We've got two thousand. We're, we're fine for a moment. We're, we're fine for a moment. If we can get another army up, then we can probably deal with Valkyr. Although I'm going to be honest, Malakith's army is pretty shit. Like it's basically your it's basically your base standard units against Valkyr, who probably has Chaos Warriors. It's not really going to cut the mustard. Yeah, I should definitely do a sacrifice to Mathlan if I can. Slave pen, okay. Beast commander. Are we building that one? Oh, I was thinking about building it, and then I changed my mind, didn't I? Hmm. Okay. Okay, well, let's... Um, should we go? I mean, we probably need to go and deal with these beast men, right? They're right there. I know where they are. Nature's torment. So let's go and deal with them first. Everyone's a little bit sad, but we're the Dark Elves, so to be honest, that's pretty pretty standard. What's this one? Ultra of Ultimate Darkness. Uh, Winds of Magic Power Reserve Capacity plus three, all armies. Fucking useless. Uh, Lord Recruitment plus one. Uh, income from buildings five percent. I mean, I'll build it, but I'm not going to get particularly invested. Okay, I'm, I'm going to build that just so I can do get a black arc because I think the sooner we get a black arc the better because that'll give us some extra bonuses and also we can keep it safe and to be honest it's like a basically a free army that we can stack into Nagarond right that kind of makes sense oh I heard you move Yeah, go and go and fucking irritate someone else. Okay, you are actually fuck. Do I want? To, hmm. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Yes, 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 yes. Right. You head in there. Get another crossbow, and then we'll go and do the the thingy magic. Which will keep us going for a minute. 
More crossbows for you, because crossbows are basically the only unit we have that is semi-decent. And I need to, still need a slave pen for that one. That's fine. I'm also wasting my Dark Conjure, but to be honest, that was really useful for beating those dwarves. I genuinely think that probably made that battle, if not possible, then certainly significantly easier. Being able to take out those, those quarrelers, who were absolutely hammering me, I think was was a bit of a, a pivotal point in that battle. So having Dark Conduit to just blast them. Yeah, much easier. They're over here now. See what I mean? They're just like circling around, aren't they? They could, they could go literally anywhere, but no, they're hanging around me. Okay, we're going to grab War Leader. Oh, do I just go for this? Fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Says Valiant Defeat. I'm going to be honest, that doesn't look too bad. I mean, yes, most of our army is shit. The vast majority of it, in fact. However, um, you know. Fuck you. Oh, I do like that. Because that makes you significantly better. Good. Okay, so I'm going to put that on you. No. I'm going to put that on... Oh, God. It, un unbreakable is such a fucking useless ability. I'm going to put that on you. So enjoy dying, I guess. These chaos stretches bore me. At least with the Asla, I can enjoy their death screams. Yet, it is a labor that must be undertaken. I claim this altar, not in Cain's name, but my own. Savants of the Desperate Gods, I advise you, stay out of my way. If not, you shall face the might of the Truki. And our ways of killing are far more inventive than your own. Malekith being a bit of a tease and uh, luring the Chaos Knights into range of the crossbows. I see this is not a good idea for them. I believe this battle used to used to get reinforcements coming from this side, um, but now apparently they come down from this side because all the old quest battles are broken in Immortal Empires, and uh, none of the reinforcements come in from the correct edge anymore. And I don't think they give a flying shit enough to actually fix it. But there we go. Does it really matter? No. But does it make some of the quest battles incredibly confusing? Yes. Mind you, the Mother Ostankia final battle is brand new, and that's incredibly fucking confusing. So maybe it's just built in these days. You know, it's like, oh no, Jeremy the Dark Elf has lost his, I don't know, magical ring. And it's because Chaos has stolen it. So here's a quest battle that happens in the middle of the Empire against Cathay. Why? I don't fucking know. Also, reinforcements, they come in from random directions. You'll never know. I, c I could be a quest battle designer. I could do this shit. It's easy. It's almost... It's they should do one of those, you know, what, what, when is your, what month is your birthday? That is the enemy you'll be fighting. And then what, what is the date of your birthday? And what's the first letter of your first name? That's the faction you'll be fighting. Job done. Quest battle complete. I don't know. It's fucking, fucking ludicrous. The Mother of Stankia battle, if I get into it, I, I've got a very long PowerPoint presentation that will explain all of my misgivings about that particular quest battle. Anyway, um, the, the Crows of Cain are flapping around trying to find a good target. They are, of course, quite fragile, but with 44 weapon strength, they really can do a number on enemy units given half the chance. Uh, so we can use them to chase units off like these, these Chaos Knights. That means we can reform our army and uh, bring them about to face the enemy reinforcements that are pouring on to the battlefield. Again, I do believe these guys actually should come from either this edge or... They, they come from the side, basically, of this because it says oh they're coming from the portal so does it make sense they're coming from here no it doesn't it's fucking fucking stupid but there we go well there's like a pool of lava over there it's like heinz tomato soup rich and creamy 
Forsaken charging directly into the crossbows. That did not work out for them. Nope. 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 Just just the two guys going, Oh, that was a terrible idea, Jeremy. What the fuck were you thinking? Ugh. Sorry, Bob. Off he goes. Oh, will he get away? He's getting away. Run, run, little fellow. He's getting away. He's going he's gonna to run for his pitiful existence. Good job. More Forsaken coming in and... Yet, yet again, one of them with only two hit points remain. Oh no, he, he, he died. Well, well, good attempt. At least, at least Bob here got away. Mostly intact by the look of it, with 51 hit points. I'm going to say, you know what? Probably, probably got most of his hit points. Probably didn't take a hit. So, well done for him. Little fireball coming in there. It's going to hit right in the middle of the dark shards. Why is it when I throw a fireball at people, it always like hits the very edge of the unit and n normally does nothing? And when the AI does it, it hits the middle of the unit and does catastrophic damage. Never mind. Right. So we've got some aspiring champions charging in. Malak is going to get stuck into combat there. Then he's going to use the web of thingy-majig once these uh, exalted heroes get into range just to do as much damage as possible to them. Good stuff from there. And we're going to use a little burning vortex as well, which is a spell which um, is actually quite good because this vortex lasts for fucking ever and it does a lot of damage, which means you cast it in the middle of a large enemy blob. As long as you're not really close to them, um, it should do quite a lot of damage with any luck. Most vortexes don't last very long and usually like veer off immediately. This one though, I don't know. I feel like this one actually kind of works. This this is this is a vortex that I kind of feel like I, you know what I will I will spend the winds of magic on that compared to pretty much any other vortex, which is mostly dog shit. The enemy army is, I'm gonna be honest, completely fucking devastated. They've only got 47 guys left. Really? That doesn't that doesn't make any fucking have you got four? You haven't got 40 guys. You've got way more than 40 guys. Are you shitting me? There's like 95 here. What? 538. Really? Huh. Oh, okay. Well, you know. I guess. I guess. Counting isn't my strong suit, so. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Nalakith is. Uh, Killing this guy. I don't know. I don't know. Do chariots do well in melee combat? I genuinely don't know. You do have bonus versus infantry, don't you? And that guy is infantry, so I don't know whether that makes any difference. Uh, what are your stats? 28 bonus versus infantry. I mean, it's fine, but you'd have no melee defense, and you're a massive fucking target. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the, the, the important thing is the exalted heroes eventually break and run, allowing us to get our lovely iron circlet, or whatever it was that we were after here. I genuinely can't remember. I don't usually do quest battles this early, but... Needed the slaves, didn't I? Bolt fiends, you've got a cold one, you've got a circle of iron. Tick there, job done. Look at that. Alright, what do we want? Casualties capture post battle. That sounds pretty fucking legit, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Talking of uh, captured post battle, let's sneak up here. I need I need to catch these assholes unaware. I wouldn't. You know what? Magic item drop chance. Hi, beast master. Okay, grumpy cat. You just stay there. Ready to ravage. Well, I mean, sure. If that's if that's your thing, if that's your bag. I'll be it for me to tell you what to do. Fine. Okay, that looks good. We're going to use that thingy, my jig, because then we can recruit a black arc, Hagen, Hagen Dars. That's right. Okay, so we get upkeep reduction plus fifty percent. Perfect. So grab some of them because they're dirt cheap. How much are they? Seventy-nine gold each. That's only going to get cheaper. Ideally, you want to use that black arc thing every single. I, I to be honest, I should have. It's a bit late to use it now. I should have got the slave pen almost immediately and uh, and popped one of those out. Because I think you can do every 
20 turns? And there's no reason not to have any black arcs. They are dirt cheap, boost your abilities, give you recruitment. There's, they're, they're just all good. It is the greatest insult that yep. Fall the Maker, Elvin God of Smiths, has never blessed the sword you have forged. Okay, go on. Fuck off. I don't really care about that. Right, enemy forces. Bunch of elves. Oh, and Tyrion. Well, I will... We get destroyer. Melee attack, weapon strength. Get spell resistance reduction, increasing cooldowns. That's actually quite... I remember that being quite nasty, actually. It's kind of, kind of annoying. I am the Witch King. Right, where are you? Fucking! I tame the untamable to the slaughter. God, there's nothing worse than trying to hunt beastmen down. Like, if they just fucked off. I'd be fine. Cease your provocations. Is this incessant? No, I'm just going to sit around your settlement until I know you're busy elsewhere, and then I'm going to go on a rampage. Death lurks behind. <sighs> what now? Oh, um, well, you're at war with Solostra, so I'm going to say no. To be honest, if Solostra wants to kill you and protect my southern border, more than happy are. Where did they go? Where did they go? They're down there. Right. I think I can catch them. Yes, I'm going to declare war. And with any luck... Okay, that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna trespass because I need to kill them. Thank you. Good. Now stay out of my way. Don't come back. With the, oh, who's rebelling now? You are. Okay, grumpy cats. Don't be grumpy over here, would you? Exactly. Right. Do you sad about that? Did we have an agreement? I can't remember. Probably not. Oh, never mind. It's fine. That's fine. I could Horses always orders. kill you. We've got an iron blaster. What the fuck? Get it done. From where? What the fuck? I've never seen I've never seen the ogres recruit an iron blaster before. Turn 22. I don't even think that's possible. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't think you can. Oh, uh, you know what? I need, I need, I need arcane conduit, don't I? Uh, let's get magic process. I don't. I don't think that's actually possible as a, as a concept. I don't think that's that's a thing. It doesn't. What? What? How? That's, that's like... You need a, a tier 5 camp to do that. This is not a tier 5 camp. So where did it come from? Hmm? 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 Okay, we're gonna get... What's malicious do? Uh, yeah, nah, we're gonna get this guy. Kick a kick a kick a chameleon. I have much to show. Kick a kick a kick a kick a come a chameleon. He is. Oh, actually changed my mind. Let's get that one. It's better. Scroll of black horror. Oh, are you not carrying that? Okay, you can have the scroll of black horror. Master you. Rookie. Oh, you don't have any armor. Okay, you have the armor of silvered steel. Imminent rebellion. That's fine. We're there. We can deal with that. Grumpy cat. It's a, it's a good learning experience for Grumpy cat to be honest, because he's not had to actually kill anyone yet. He's all. He's got. He's, he talks the talk. Does he walk the whip? Whip the walk. Whip the whip. Okay, we've had a little rebellion. It's a Skaven rebellion. I don't think Skaven rebellions popped up unless there was a lot of Skaven attrition in the zone. But very well. That's fine. We can kill you. Thank you. Stabby, stab, stab. 
Oh my fucking what the f what what? Whoop. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's a bleak sword. I don't give a shit. I don't care enough about bleak swords to warrant that. Hello, are you having a little party? Got like little tents and everything. Sweet. Okay. Do I go and kill some ogres? I'm kind of tempted to go and kill the ogres because I could take shock tack mountain uh mount then and we could be cool okay you guys do not like each other but then i'll be fighting ogres i mean i don't really want this either because it's it's kind of kind of shit so but it's kind of like one of the only settlements i actually have i don't actually have that many settlements And Valkyr is, yes, deteriorating. I did think that would happen. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're just going to ignore the ogres, to be honest. I'm going to concentrate more on this sort of area. However, that does mean I'm going to have to build defences here. Grumpy Cat is going to have to... Because having fought Marauders with Dark Elves, I know the fact that the Marauders will happily turn my... They will turn my little squishy boys into smears on the ground. The only thing that will stop them is the crossbows, who will do all the damage and kill everyone. So therefore, we're fighting Marauders. We need a nice tanky front line and a buttload of crossbows to deal with the actual threat. Forgetting Sheaf Master, anything which is going to increase our damage against those guys is good. Are you alright? I'm having a, having a bit of a shout. How much growth do we have? Uh, oh, we will have enough. Oh, no. Oh, this all costs two growth. Oh, we need the building that increases growth, don't we? <sighs> this one. It's only two growth, but considering we need 10, 20, 20, is it 20? We need 20. So two. Much faster. We are mm hmm. Not necessarily my problem, madam. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get a little bit of public order. Rain secure. Try and cheer these guys up a little bit. You guys are also fairly sad, but that's I'll probably fine. Oh, I was going to put you in this army, wasn't I? Yes. What was I going to get rid of? Probably one of the bleak sorts, because I'm going to be honest. By the god of murder, I've skills to show. Um, is it? Who sang come a chameleon? Whatever that is, that that's that guy. Was it Boy George? Has Boy George been cancelled? I genuinely can't remember. I would have to look it up on Wikipedia. Lord of the Black Tower and King of Nagaroth. Hellebron, how are you? How's things? Things don't look great. I'll level with you. You are strength rank 20, though. Not bad. Not bad. Um, right. Military access. You know what? Yes, sure. Malekith got some stuff. Good for him. Okay, you're in there. We are going. I have control. That's good to know. God, this army's a train wreck. The people grow restless. I will aid you. Wait, where are we? Nagarond. Oh, because you're marching. I forgot you were marching. Bugger. It's fine. Um, you know what? I'm going to get rid of these guys. And I'm going to get these guys. Because they're slightly better. What about the Hellebroni? They just have poison attacks. Which I guess is better than not having poison attacks? My knows I mean, they're still dark spears. Dread spears. That's the one. Okay, we're getting the growth building. Because that will increase our growth. Which is good. Could build that, but I'm not going to. You're recruiting. Okay, I think we're poised. I think we're poised. We're poised to fight Valkyr. Ho ho ho. I have 
never been much of a diplomat. Military access. Go on then. I'm not I'm not really sure about Zlostra, whether we Do we keep her as a friend, or do we potentially look at clearing her out? I'm not entirely sure. Obviously, I've got a Valkyria problem to deal with first, but the Solostra question is an interesting one. Yes. Okay. Moving the flock. Ideally, we finish this. Upgrade that and potentially get another army in this one. Uh, malevolent, don't care. Confident, meh. Weapon master, nope, that's terrible. Uh, malicious, no. Perceptive, cunning, both shit. Tough, nope, don't care about that with a sorceress. Determined, oh my god, you lot are fucking useless. Come from sacking settlements, weapon strength. Okay. Nonans, you're apparently the, the least shittest option. Acknowledged at last. The garrison <laughs> is Re Really not, not, no. I can't. <laughs> Finally, my slightly above inadequacy has been acknowledged. I mean, sure. I guess if, if that's what you want to hold on to, sure. Why not? Let that... Black. Let that be a lesson to us all. Exactly. Right, okay. The blessings so. of Cain be upon you. Give me some money. Understood. Give me some fucking money. Right. What's going on over here? Hello, what, what are you doing down here? Red Lord of Nagaroth. What are you doing? You mental bitch. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, Valkyr's army is actually looking pretty fucked, so this might actually be a really good time. The host stands ready to... Okay, this is a this is a pretty good time to to fuck her up. Make haste. I have rights to lead. Okay, do you want me to declare war on them? Give me military alliance and a buttload of money. Fine. Thank you. Okay, it's time to go all out. I think you'll find Oh, there's literally no one here. Okay, well I'll grab that one then. We need to capture all of the hello. Okay, well, good to know. Baying for blood. Okay, I should have waited a turn. Never mind, it's fine. We can we can we can work with that. We can work with that. Uh we do we do we do get a little bit of extra bonus here, it's not bad. I'm not gonna upgrade you. Let's see, let's see if some some horrible corny boys head this way. What are you doing? Malice what? You've got black rock. And also Admiral Lee. Wait, do you not have a port? Do you? Do you? Does Malice start with a black arc? Noble boy. Does he? Because otherwise he doesn't have a port, so he wouldn't be able to recruit one. But upgrade any settlement building to level five. E okay, I can do that. In the meantime, hello. Yes. Okay, we're going to rush you. I approve of these dark deeds. It's more like um, defensive deeds. I think we should be okay. In the meantime, I'm going to attack up your ass. Send them to the underworld. That's the plan. Okay, Chief Master. We got we, we Do we have walls here? Oh, we don't have walls, we get like a major settlement thing, don't we? Uh, okay, we still get Dark Conduit. How long for? How long do we have Dark Conduit for? Oh, it'll be up here, won't it? No? Yes? No? Oh, I don't know. I haven't been counting, to be honest. Do we think, I don't think we'll be able to get support from the Black Ark, which is unfortunate, but, but if we can get Garond, that's got a lovely gold mine in it, then we can get the Great Arena, potentially, Chilro, Great Arena, Ashrat, yeah, so we could potentially capture Garond, 
then Hellebron could have this. You know, we can let's, Hellebron can keep that. That's fine. I don't care about that. Um, but as long as we get this, that's a little bit of extra territory for us, a little bit of extra money, uh, no ports, but a gold mine. So, you know, that's that's something that's something to to cover. At least we get Dark Conduit, so that's going to be helpful. The gift that keeps on giving. Um, but it says Valiant Defeat, probably because these guys will fuck us up in melee combat. The important thing is they never get there, or if they do, they don't spend too long there. That, however, is going to have to wait until next time. The poll for next time is going to be the Solostra question. Do we keep her as... Shut up, Malekith. Do we keep her as a friend? Or is she just useful for the moment and we dispose of her later? So, poll for next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.